He created us in his image. As you can see, Adam and Eve created in an image of God. The Bible has the creation of man portrayed in the passages of Adam and Eve. God created them with pure thought. Our God apparently created us with pure thought, so just by thinking we're there. According to the Bible, you think, you speak, and that's how God created. And we do a similar thing, just by communicating, we create. Adam and Eve's evolution took a turning point when they tasted an apple, evolving their pure thought. As soon as we tasted an apple, that was a turning point apparently in our history, when we knew right from wrong and truth from false. Adam and Eve, with an apple, they didn't just discover the right from wrong, but they also discovered that they were naked. Computers haven't discovered that yet. This is an Apple computer, and again we have another turning point involving an Apple. The turning point was that in 1983 everybody could have an Apple computer. The first logo of the Apple computer, as you can see here, is Newton sitting under a tree with an Apple. He discovered where he was, Eureka, I know where I am now in the universe, and ever since we think the same. Computing power, body and thought, both have short and long-term memories as well as rooted instincts. Well, here we have a mind of a computer. It doesn't look like something we can understand. It does very simple things like yes and no, right and wrong, truth or false. Not much difference than what we do. But it, it basically does that, but much faster. Now, if I was to ask the computer, computer, do you believe in God? Now, the computer could answer, answer yes or no. Creation and evolution. According to the Bible, God created the human body from natural elements, fusing their souls with energy. Well, if you remember, we're talking about androids and energy, so what do computers need? They need power. Well, computers are very much like us. They have a long-term memory, which is the hard drive, short-term memory, which is the RAM, and they need electricity, which we can't see. According to the Bible, we get such uh, energy or electricity from God. Here you have a rabbi teaching a bar mitzvah boy how to connect the cable and get more electricity. Do we create our children? Or is it God's creation? Or is it in divine intervention? And so on and so on. Or it could be a process, it's just a matter of perspective, just as we saw the big lady and the small lady. It's all in our eyes. Can a computer love? Well, this one, I'm not even going to ask this the computer if she can love because she's, she's heartbroken. So um, she's probably be too sad to answer, so I'm not going to ask, um, can a computer love? We know that we've created the computer and we can love much more than a computer can love or ever love. In comparison, apparently God has infinite love, which we can't compare. Analog versus digital. Can these uh, two realities that we've created, the digital one and the analog one, mix? So here you have a first example. You have water, which is an analog, analog substance, and you have a computer, which is called a manipulator, this one, and it just takes it from left to right, very simple moves, but there is an interaction between the two realms, the digital one and the analog one. This is the biggest uh, computer ever made till this day in Japan called the Net Computer. And what this computer does, it maps all the weather in the world and it calculates the weather. And I don't know how it does it, and that's why it's there. Now, what the computer can't do is show this picture uh, like it should do. Here we have a computer tree. Now, I try to imagine this is actually a real tree. Uh, in the, in the, well, the, the biggest computer, which is the Enya, I'll just show you that slideshow here, let's go back. This is the biggest computer ever made, the first computer, very stable, very simple, and that's the ANIAC. Slowly, slowly, computers get faster and faster, and smaller and smaller, but they also get less stable and less stable, and they crash. And you have users. So these people didn't actually make the computer, they're just using it. Well, these people made the computer. As you can see, every tree has a root, so you have the philosophers, you have the mathematicians, the engineers, the thinkers, the builders. It's a whole thought process. So in the beginning, God created us just by thought or by speaking, and, and we're there. And here you have a, a very similar process of thought, thinking, communicating under the ground. And then the tree is there in, into the beautiful computers we have today. So that's, again, similar. That's the wrong picture, but this is a different um, image of what the tree could be. And it's the Jewish uh, way of thought. Now, the Jewish way of thought is that we are our ancestors. So, in fact, we're not a computer because a computer can actually live each generation separately. And it's not a tree because, for instance, the iPod doesn't need the ANIAC to function. But if you were to cut that ANIAC tree, the big one, all the rest would actually not live unless there's a seed of those little apples. So, basically, that's the Jewish way of thought that we are our ancestors.